Okay, let's move on to a Saturday Pac-12 game out west. It's a rivalry game, number six, Arizona, heading to Arizona State in the Pac-12. <clears throat> you got the Arizona 8-1 and one in first place. Right behind you get Utah and Stanford. Meanwhile, this Arizona State team struggling here, 500 record of 11-11, and 11, just 3-6 and six in the Pac-12 play. But a couple of things you have to keep in mind with games like this, revenge and rivalry. They've already met in Arizona, just clobbered <clears throat> Arizona State in the first meeting, 73-49. to 49. That was January 4th. They were a 14-point favorite. It went under the total of 134. It was a blowout from start to finish. However, we saw the same thing happen a year ago. Where Arizona was number one in the nation, beat Arizona State 91-68. to 68. Then the rematch, they were a five-and-a-half-point favorite in the rematch. Lost the game to Arizona State in double overtime, 69-66. It was a wild defensive game. Arizona shot just 36%. And they were terrible from the free throw line, 16 of 30, which really caught, cost them. So, Jeff, you know, this is going to be another one-sided Arizona route or a home court and revenge have to be considered. Well, I think Arizona's going to remember that game from last year. That's why I think revenge won't be a huge factor in this game. Also because Arizona State's just having a down year. They're just, uh, uh, they're, one, they're, they're coming close, but they're, they're just not winning games. They're 0-6 in the games uh, decided by five points or less. And I don't think this game would be that close. Uh, Wildcats 13 and 9 against the spread, 9 and 4 home, 3 3 on the road. They've won six in a row. They've covered the last five uh, after a couple of stumbles uh, against at, at Oregon State and uh, UNLV. They've now they're playing the best basketball of the season. Uh, they beat the Sun Devils as you said, 73 49 on January 14th as a 14 point favorite. This game they'll probably be favored by, I would say, seven or eight points. Uh, Arizona State's 3 and 6 in the conference, tied for second to last. Um, I just, uh, the Wildcats, if they play they did against Arizona, uh, against Oregon State, 57-34 win, Sun Devils won't have much of a chance. Uh, the, led by uh, point guard T.J. McDonald, Arizona forced 17 turnovers, 12 steals, and I, just, I think uh, because of last year and because it's a down year for Arizona State, I think Arizona covers again here. Okay, well, this Arizona State team, 11-11, playing better of late. Three and two run. That included a win at Cal. As an underdog, they won 79-44. to They come off a game against Oregon where they were a six-point home favorite. Lost in overtime and just 7-15 of 15 from the free throw line. Overall, Arizona State 10-3 and three at home. So this is where they play their best if they're going to pull the upset. Uh, Zach, you're familiar with these schools having gone to uh, the Sun Devils here. Is there going to be an electric extra atmosphere for this one? Yeah, down in Wells Fargo Arena, there's definitely going to be both crowds on a Saturday. You can expect the people who drive up from Tucson a couple hours up. And uh, ASU fans, they're, they're kind of uh, there sometimes. But uh, the band band does play a key role there. They're loud. Um, they get some, some fan involvement. But uh, ASU, obviously, down here, nothing like last year when they had Jahi Carson. Uh, was expected to be an NBA talent, but uh, went undrafted. Now he's overseas. Um, and Herb Sendick... Uh, he's done a quality job with this team, I think, even though they're 500. Uh, you got to remember last year they had also had Jordan Pachinski, one of the top shot blockers in college basketball. So they lost two key guys. Um, they do have McKissick, who was granted an extra year of eligibility. That's that's played a key role for them. Um, but besides that, they really have a couple juniors and seniors that have been been there for a while, but they're not key players. Um, and then they've got a couple JUCO transfers that have done well. And uh, Scott and uh, I forget the other name off the top of my head, but the JUCO transfers have done well. The guy from uh, UNLV. Uh, he just got eligible and has played a few games. Goodman. So they're doing okay. But one thing I've noticed with this ASU team, they can score, but they're just an awful defensive team. If they could improve their defense, you could back them a little bit more in conference play, but they're just not strong enough defensively to back them. So if anything in this game, I would take the first half over. I think Arizona, as you mentioned, they, they love to light up Arizona State, and they're not going to have a problem scoring once again. Uh, Transition defense for Arizona State is just atrocious, and I expect uh, Arizona to get a lot of transition baskets. You see a lot of dunks with their size, a lot of deflections. They're just going to score with ease. So expect those transition buckets, free throws, and I think uh, they'll get an a easy 15, 20 points with the regular offense. They should have around the high 30s, 40s, low 40s in that first half. Arizona State. Um, you should get enough offensively in that first half, but this is one of those games where if you take the over, 
for the game, you have to be cautious with the blowout and points uh, being a factor at the end of the game, which always happens. So that's why I like to take the overs of the first half of t these type of games. So it should be 65 points. Well, Arizona State's probably going to have to slow the pace down here at home if they want to stay in it. They are 13-2 and under the total at home when they play at home with a, against a team with a winning record like this. Also pretty good overall at home. However, they're just a bad rebounding team, 231st in the nation. They had a couple of guys who were suspended, Scott and McDougal. They have been reinstated but didn't even play the last game. So wonder about the depth. And then there's last year's game. Arizona had 22 turnovers. And as Jeff mentioned, the memory of that game, I, I can't imagine the Arizona forgetting about that. I'm certain that's going to be on their mind with the Arizona State fans rush the court. They would have a chip on their shoulder as well coming into this. Uh, plus, Arizona, after a, 20, a win of 20 points or more, like they're in for this situation, they're 21-9 and 2 against the spread. So I'm going to make it a clean sweep here and back the Wildcats on Saturday in this rivalry game.